With a cheerful salam or hello, Serena Ismail Zadeh welcomed people into what she called my whole universe, the video diaries of a 16-year-old. She could be any teenage girl anywhere in the world, goofing around, dancing, singing, just having fun. But this isn't anywhere in the world. This is the Islamic Republic of Iran, where life's expressions are anything but free. Three months after that video, Serena joined the thousands of Iranian women and girls rising up for their liberties, demanding their rights. Serena was forever silenced on September 23rd. Amnesty International says based on information it has, security forces beat her, striking her on the head with batons, severely beating her to death. Iranian judicial authorities denied she was killed. They say Serena died by suicide, jumping from the roof of her grandmother's home. Their claim just days after they said another 16-year-old protester, Nika Shahkarami, who was found dead in Tehran, also died after falling from a building. Arrests have been made in the investigation of her death. Family members of both girls have appeared on Iranian state media, repeating the government's claim. The UN Human Rights Office told CNN they received reports authorities forced Shahkarami's family to give the interview. Amnesty International says families of victims are being intimidated and harassed into silence. This comes three weeks after the death of Masa Jina Amini while in the custody of the so-called morality police. On Friday, the government's forensic report blamed the death of the 22-year-old on an underlying medical condition after the operation of a brain tumor as a child. Amini's family repeatedly denied those claims. They say she was healthy. It was police brutality that killed her. They say doctors told them she suffered trauma to the head. <laughs> Anger over Amini's death sparked a women's uprising like no other in Iran. Too many lives already lost in this battle for freedom, for change. Too many young lives ended too soon. Jamana Karache, CNN, Istanbul.